Okay, so welcome to our weekly briefing meeting. Today we're going to focus on where we are with regards to development of our products. Uh, so we're all up to speed with what's happening. So, David, do you want to start us off? Um, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just think we can go around some of the development guys and see where we are, what we're, what we're doing, what, what's in front of us, and just generally what's happening with development. So, from my perspective, I think there's quite a bit going on that we've got, we've got a few things that we need to sort out. The QA system is still not up and running, it should be up and running, that's, that's a big issue for us to get the CI machines working again. We've still got a lot of code that's not on Next, which probably should be on Next, and everything that's on Next should be the master branch, so there's people getting code off our system now that and they're, they're just looking at the master branch quite rightly thinking that that would be the most suitable um, place to find the latest release of our code that's stable and working and they're not really finding that so there's a couple of bits around the edges that we need to trim up now and get better at I think in the development side where we're still doing falls I think that's we're making huge progress, so we've also, Mahmoud especially, has done some patterns, some code patterns, Vault Library, which Fraser and I have started to look at now, but they seem to be really good. And uh, of course, Prakash is back to make sure that we all focus on releasing the code, which is great. And I know that Viv and Brian have done quite a lot of work in the Surefile UI and installers and whatnot, so I'm assuming and um, we'll find out in the meeting where that stuff is. So it's probably worth maybe just go around and do you want to start with and yeah, say so where we are with your file and, or just whatever in general. Well sure if we have the we have the bits for Windows uh, that created the, the design part and branded the Shopify library part so we've got the parts for the UI with QML, we're still waiting on some bits from the UI to be actually done and functional and Scott's working on the Mac yeah. side of things, mm -hmm. but pretty much all of it needs every single bit tested in Linux by someone who actually uses Linux instead of somebody using Mac and Windows and pretty much it. I just sent an email out like about 10 minutes before this with uh, installers for Windows 8 and 64-bit uh, and 32-bit packages that Brian helped me put together. However, when you actually use the installer and install the product, right at the end we put in a dummy message box, like an, like an intermediate message box that lists all the known issues that we have with QML. So if anybody's testing it and you hit any of the problems, like the styles being wrong or things like that, mm. which we've highlighted to QT already, then don't waste that as a bug because we know right. about it, but we can't do anything. Right, so we've just got some development stuff. So the one installers for Windows. So that's, is that Windows Seven, Windows Eight, Thirty Two, Sixty Four? No, I sent the Windows Eight out. The Windows Seven is building it. So, so Windows Eight. Windows See the issues you know about. The, are they styling issues or are they functional, functional issues? Functional as well. Qt, QML. It's just been out for three months, so it's like you've got folder dialogs in Windows 8 which crashes every once in eight times or nine times of usage, so it's not anything we can fix because they've got a dangling pointer in their code, so can't really do much about it on our end. And you've got things like the scroll bars which they provide you uh, from styles, they're not default, they're not even default for Windows 7, Windows 8 is not default, and the thread reply was uh, you guys will have to go and get the Windows 8 like bitmaps from Windows and then integrate it into our code but that kind of solves like ruins the whole point of using Qt because Qt is so that we have code once and it deploys to everything but right now it's more like we got to sit and do it ourselves which is just pointless. So what was that the fonts? Uh, that's another thing as well because text kerning is wrong so you have text bleeding around the edges on Windows 8. Windows 8 uses Sego, Windows 7 has like, uh, it started with MS Shell dialog then they went to Arial but Qt don't really use that so. So see this dialing, dialing pointer thing, the reference, do we know where that is and can we fix it and give Qt a patch, is that something we should be doing? 
not really, it's in Windows 32 calls. So there are six bugs listed in Qt for it. Our code lists all the bugs that are there as well because we're open source. If anybody has a look at it, it's not something that we So we've not heard anything, they don't know about it? Okay. Uh, not really. It's all in the thing. And uh, as far as styling is concerned, their official reply was Windows 8 is not even in their roadmap right now. So it will potentially be later on, but it's right now it isn't in their roadmap. So hey, is it Windows 7, you know? Uh, not yet. Cool. So the bottom line is we're out what at user testing for SureFitting. And yeah. so far we've got installers for Windows 8. You're building the ones for Windows 7, there's somebody doing Apple and Linux. Yeah, I've, I've started working on You're doing it, Scott? Yeah, I'm going to start working on that. Well, Stephen was saying that all three of you guys are going to yeah. look at the OS X and Linux as well. Scott's so even showing. Took over Linux, but we're going to do Mac. Yeah. You said Linux Mac. is going to be the same as OS X, and it's going to be easy, <laughs> so it's all yours. You <laughs> tried, man. Right, so those installers, so we'll maybe have a shot of that after this meeting. We'll go over that again. If the installer's done for, mm -hmm. for there, so right, that's fine. Cool. And you're, you're doing some styling stuff, Scott? Yeah, I've got a job back, a job back on the Viv to get some styling fixes. Have you got a Linux machine? You're looking at a Linux machine at all? No. Do you need one then? Because I think some of the Linux Stylings quite far off, but it looks just pretty straightforward. It's just right. if we might be an idea to do that, then. Yeah. Um, so, you need a Linux machine? Mm -hmm. I need a Linux machine. Was that you, Ben? Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> right, cool. I'll get a Linux machine. Because so, you tried it, Prakash, and it wasn't that, <coughs> that bad, but there's just some things just not quite right. Doesn't have a close button. Yeah. <laughs> So the window, window decoration is missing, yeah. it? so it's kind of as if it's been a GTK or something like that decoration and it's not there, so okay. that should be pretty easily fixed. As for, as for drive status itself, or even on Windows with the installer that's out, it's uh, each of the stores, you can store data, you can remove it, delete works fine as well. However, the actual stores that you add, so if you have Dropbox added in and say another one added in, like. The junk store? Uh, yeah, exactly, the junk store. So if you have two cloud providers added in to encrypt it, they then keep it secure. Right. Uh, renaming one of the top level folders still does not work. It just gives you a try again error. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you delete it, it actually deletes it. It, it fires the signal to the show file library and the UI, so mm -hmm. all of them clear it. But in Explorer, if you just hit a file, the folder comes right back. So okay. it looks like it still keeps some entries there, but it's removed entirely. Is that a bug? Uh, I'm not sure, because I don't know what the state of drive currently is, so I don't know what's being worked on, what's not being worked on. Because probably it's not being used to this, you can actually let folks see that. I'm just going to ask, you should we put all the bugs into just drive? Just as opposed to, well, one, one of those, just so the folks that aren't familiar with. Mm. Kind of like really, yeah. Yeah. I've got one place to go to report box. Yeah, so wherever you guys want. Or SureFile, should it just be a SureFile bug if it's, that's the product? Don't mind, yeah. It's just that library, if anybody's using the drive library, they might not know to go. Well, we got two parts for SureFile. We got one in the super project examples, and mm -hmm. we got one for just the UI parts. So, there, again, there are two bits to choose. Even we need to look at that then, how, how we're tracking issues. <coughs> especially. No focus on to use the code externally. Yeah. Because if we could have a file, I suppose we could exclude some people. Have you got links to the issue tracker as well in that can help themes or something? To you the issue tracker? Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. 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 Let's have a look at that then. Cool. Right, thanks for that. Thank you. I think that sums up everything. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, you were looking at uh, the speaker drive really, weren't you? Profiling yeah, and all that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah, that was kind of grim and it's still not great at all. It's about 100 times slower than native on Windows, Windows 8. So I'm trying to get that nailed down to, uh, well, I think it's probably linked to the encryption of direct listings that's the root cause, but I still don't know for sure. Mm -hmm. Did you not say that was a debugging thing, wasn't it? When it was running debugging? No, no I was supposed to debug. 
Right. Yes. I thought you said life was okay. No. No? No, well, we don't know. The debug always goes through. I mean, things like the debug version of encrypt and whatnot will be at least 10 times slower. Mm. You know? uh, the, the tests I've been doing as well have been pretty limited. We, we don't have a full profiling test suite. So at the moment, all I'm doing is encrypting a single large file, 300 meg. Um, copied in a directory with tons of small files and lots of folders would be different, it would have different <laughs> results. Uh, so I've been looking at that, I've been desperate to get back into vaults because that's kind of where I want to be, but mm. the profiling thing's been a problem. But today I was trying to get the profiling done on the Mac, having been using a Mac recently and it's not working at all, so it's gone from profiling to, to debugging for me on the, the Mac. So I guess even though we've got installers in the pipeline for Mac and we run the thing, it's not going to... So you're using your file on the Mac, are you, Scott? Um, I'm not I don't think any it yet. yet. No. 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 Um, you should build it, you should build and execute, but the okay, thing moves, you can't do anything with it mm. other than open the root directory, I think. You can't even get an LS command to run and you can't unmount it, so... Uh, yeah, so I'll probably be looking at that as more of a priority than the profile. Mac. Mm. I'll run that in Linux today as well, just to make sure that yeah. there's no sudden units, right? That's it could be, because I know that we've got a different version of Fuse, obviously, for the Mac, but uh, invoking that kind of main loop in, the, in a thread was causing us problems before, so I don't know if yeah. we're still doing that. I think there might be. Yeah. But yeah, see, I think we should as well as my other. I mean, bugbear, we really, really, really need to get the CI machines on. Yeah. Um, but it shouldn't take an awful lot of time, but it kind of it needs somebody that's, that that's their part of their job, really, because when the CI yeah. machines go down, there's nobody really that looks at putting them back up again. We must have not there. I think we keep getting ambushed with that as well, don't we? Yeah. Someone's broken, we don't realise it until we yeah. go to use it, which is really crap. Yeah. It also makes the dashboard look empty, which is yeah, yeah. not a good idea. That we a uh, guy that got in touch with me about the QA job, who never actually got back to me, I'll maybe fire him an email. Yeah. Because he could come in and start the CI machines. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, we definitely need to do something there. We're not far away. We're probably actually looking for, for a spec for somebody to run CI machines. Technically capable and exactly. network away, I think, would be good. You know with a good understanding of build systems. You know, so maybe not a core C++ developer, but I think somebody that certainly understands what the code's doing and what the tests are doing. The results. So he would do that part-time and see and carry the other thing, the other part of his job? Yeah, well, it's all probably all comes under QA, really. You know, the, the CI machines, they should be automated and then be automatic from a set point and then QA's are they still running and you know we've got the QA suite which I think that, that's actually really beneficial but we need to pull that back up yeah. but a lot of it depends on vaults just getting finished so that we can actually get time to get a lot of this work done yeah. what about you Prakash what's your I would say for QA we need some student actually mm -hmm. like initially for no scripting yeah. yeah so copy that and Regarding development, probably we so we started with like put logic like man would have mm. put the logic as David said for the vaults for the vaults and uh, so what has happened is he has completed one full cycle of like how the data chunks are stored in network so David and Fraser are actually reviewing that code and <coughs> we are trying to push it to next so that people can start using it so we are hoping we'll get this done by like next week mid. Mm -hmm. Because hopefully Fraser and David will be in the Waltz project soon. Mm, yes. So, yeah. <laughs> that was part warning there. <laughs> yeah. That's, 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 that's one of Prakash's warnings. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so, yeah. So. And I think G is looking at. There's a open source project called X. F F Extreme F yeah. yeah. So he's trying to uh, look into that, like whether it's feasible for us to use that or. Some who help them and like use both both of us use the same library 
Yeah. So that's going on, and I think pretty much that we're one. That'd be quite interesting if we can use that because we can contact those people. Yeah. Extreme FS and build a shared library between us. Yeah, you've been tied up with the recent as well, yeah. that's it, Eric Lavoy. Yeah, there's a student named Eric. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he, he started like get like getting involved in routing projects, so so he has asked a couple of questions. He's quite like good in asking questions and coming back with valid questions. Uh-huh. So we, we are trying to help. We are trying to help him. So because he complained something about some issues and we, we found that the master branch was broken. Yeah. And that was uh, that blame goes to again like CI machine, we need a CI machine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So and not freezer. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> or the get blame. <laughs> 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 No, it's not, no. <laughs> yeah, sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so so probably we are, we're trying to help him as much as possible and we right. could that he uses our system so we'll know like it's well tested. So yeah, yeah that's uh, he seems to be quite a good guy actually, he's asking really pertinent questions. Yeah. So is he a student? Yeah, yeah he, he's yeah, actually he's, he's looking to do a crazy based? <laughs> not sure. Because it went a full time job in here, no? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's, he's looking to do a, a secure IRC system using routing, which we should be able to do, that should be easy enough. So I he's kind of said if he does it in GitHub and Open that we'll help him out, so I think it's worth our while to spend some time just to have a look at the structure that he's trying to use and how he's trying to do it, and then give him some kind of path to a, a full-blown application that involves it out. I think he's more interested in profiling, isn't he? I think his degree involves him showing he's able to profile, so he's not yeah. taking into how good or bad or code isn't in the day, it's just yeah. how good he is at profiling, but he has expressed an interest in, if he's got the time, you know, contributing to the kind of core libraries after he's done. Yeah. I think we covered everything, but the only thing I can say is that, you see, yeah, because the world is just changed totally, so... Um. Too much code has to be uh, commented out, and today I was just extra harsh to comment. <coughs> so we can always move to deleting. Yes. <laughs> deleting no, it compiles, but it doesn't link. So I'm just trying to. Oh, you get more compiling it. Yeah. But it doesn't link. I just try. Oh yeah, there's no need to define everything. You just declare it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that's compiling now. So just the yes. link there is. Okay. And that's, you imagine, put all the way through, but it's just to get reviewed. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then delete. Delete and get are fairly straightforward. That's it. Uh, and we need to pull together the... Probably some unique data handling. Yes. Yeah, it's the version, no, the version manager. No, even in like, put, there are some like, bits which... For unique data. For unique data. For the keys. And also... Actually, my aim today was to just make it compile. So even the put somehow is commented out, but um, I just I didn't have much time. To that is about harsh. Then. <laughs> 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 it's about too too harsh. So you just got a mean left eye. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Nice. <laughs> so what's your sort of feeling, Mamie, with the box? Like if if put is there or thereabouts and we, we have to maybe change because we're looking at changing the accumulator slightly to that the firewall part of the accumulator which will mean putting the ACK the secure the acknowledgement part of routing into routing to, to use that as a firewall so assuming that we can do that well, we can then we take the firewall out of vaults put is there or thereabouts, so hopefully we can spend time on it just to review that, which I think, judging by the code so far, it looks good. So if that's there by maybe the end of this week, then do you think we're looking at? I think if we want to just take the this the firewall to the routing, mm-hmm. I think it just requires just taking the ACK totally uh-huh. to routing, because I think yeah. sooner or later it will be required. So I think we really need to take somebody off also to do that, don't we? Because that's going to require quite a lot of testing. I see. So yeah. I think it just requires to just even test the act. It requires one week job, I think. 
It seems only fair to take your fault since you were left on your own with the ball. <laughs> maybe, should we look at maybe then we all try and get this week, get the vaults compiling. We finish the review of the put thing, so compiling with put in place with unique data handling. And then next week, maybe get you to move on to Rutan. I would say Vavon's in a quiet wall, so we'll keep him. Yeah, I don't know if it's not part of He's driving it really nice, so yeah. we should have him in walls. And regarding Ak and this firewall, but I, I think we don't need it right now because it's the repeated message blocking, so probably. Without that, we can still go go with like data storage test. Yeah, that's true. Would it pass the data storage test with repeated messages or would it? There wouldn't be any repeat messages. Message. Yeah, but written on, written on repeat the message anyway. If we have ACK. No, yeah. if we don't have ACK, we don't have repeated messages. So there will be like some edge cases where like this pending request will fill up and probably flush out from. Yeah, I suppose if we, if we have the network stable and we don't have nodes mm -hmm. going off or slow nodes mm -hmm. that we would need that, then... So potentially we could not deliver one, but we're not going to get too many. Uh, yeah. 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 So, so I we think might lose some, but not get too many of them. Mm -hmm. And we can afford to lose one. And again, it's like local networks, so there won't be any like too much churn or like... Mm -hmm. You can still control and at least start get the rest running. Cool. So would you think then next week, we all just stay in vaults that yeah. we are doing to look to try and complete them mm -hmm. as much as possible. And then maybe you and Marmot do send acknowledgement the week after or whenever balls is finished. Because yeah. that will require a lot of testing and if this poor guy gets some profiling done, yeah. then because the send acknowledgement's going in. Well, he's going across networks, so it's potentially going to speed up, although we're doing extra work because it will go around to slow nodes. And See, it won't we... drop any packets either, so it won't drop any messages. See if we get our walls junk storage storage test running at least, yeah. then he'll be able to store keys on like his IRC keys yeah, on the walls. So that's like storage. completely done for him, like he can mm -hmm. readily use the walls. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, that's where he's he's missing just now because yeah. he's gonna have to create those detectors and yeah. put my pro off or something. What about the end to end encryption as well as that getting put into it in soon or is it not the in the RDP type now? Well that's just the hop, would it? Yeah, it's the hop and hop Right. It's easy enough to do because we just encrypt the. You need to pull the public key, do you? Know? I know. For the but we get the public key of the key vector thing that you're going to put in the disk. Or AI, if we're just doing yeah. So we could just even just use that safe encrypt method, mm -hmm. you know, which will take the. Because yeah. that'll take that link, that'll use this key to encrypt everything, but we use an AES randomly generated one like Diffie Helm kind of thing, but still above the routers, so mm -hmm. you'll have safety. Again, that will work with this public key getter actually, like once yeah, we have that, you can that. just ask for each messaging. Yeah, yeah that'd be handy because if, if there's a couple of folk using Rootin, then it's going to get well tested. Brilliant. So that's where we are with development, sure. Good. Is that okay? Okay. Is it up to your standard? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just about. I, I got a question actually. So, if you build it on uh, in routing or walls, uh, mainly for the next week, who's going to be the point of contact for Drive for Windows and Unix, considering short files nearly out the door? So, we need somebody to address bugs and performance issues and feedback from our guys or investors or whatever. It's pretty much you guys. Wow. <laughs> I think well, I'm doing some stuff in crypt at night and Fraser's doing some drive stuff at night, so probably so like if, if you guys can control just being able to run on Linux, make sure that it's working properly, it's passing tests or whatever, mm -hmm. and just pass bugs back, then we'll kind of do some of that stuff at night after we're finished all stuff maybe uh, yeah it's probably the best way so if you can take the linux stuff so don't ignore it just have linux machines running apple machines running and be testing it and then use the issue tracker <coughs> they just give us a chat on the shoulder to say look that's a particular showstopper then we might take an hour or two out of all during the day fix it and keep going but if you can take the kind of general linux stuff that'd be worth it. 
Because what else are you doing anyway? Well, yeah, just you are just like you said, doing nothing or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's user, yeah, sure. Yeah, don't get pernickety. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. That's where we are. That's I don't think there's anything else this week, is there? That we need to be... Yeah. No. Good. Okay, that's us. <laughs>